doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm walking them down. Reach for the spots in the rounds. Can't hop out, then we clear them. Hey guys, we're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest, Mama Million. Hey guys. <laughs> how you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you? I'm good. That's new good. York, how has it been for you? It's been good. What it's been good. So far? Uh, really just press run, a lot of other interviews and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I need some good food spots, for real. Well, what you looking for? I just was telling them. What you looking for? I don't food, know. Seafood, like, do like it don't matter. It just got to be good. Yeah, I was just telling them, like, um, you could go to the grill if you want, like, Caribbean food. Mm. We don't really have, in the South, y'all got seafood. For, like, we don't really got good seafood. Mm. Unless you go to, like, City Island or some shit, which is mad far. Oh, no, I'm not from the South. Oh, you think I'm from the South? My accent. <laughs> accent but, like, Chicago, to me, anything, uh, like, under, like, you know, that's yeah. down to no. us. Okay. You know I what I'm saying? Like, not like... Yeah, then, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions to say the first thing that comes to mind. What's your favorite color? Pink and black. Favorite food? Not wings. First album you heard start to finish? Uh, Chris Brown, Heartbreak on the Full Moon. Um, last movie you saw? The Blackness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Celebrity Crush. Drake. <laughs> What's one song you know word for word that's not yours? Dang. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't even know. I'm having brain freeze right now. Okay. Last thing you spent money on? Clothes. Favorite music video of yours? Uh, Hershey Kisses with me and Mellow Book. <laughs> and what's one conspiracy theory you think is real? The earth is below. The earth is what? Below. Below? Yeah. Um, Not round. Yeah, flat. Flat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so what is, I mean, tell us a little bit about your rap name. How'd you get the name Mama Millions? Um, well, originally, uh, my whole life I've been called Mama ever since I was a baby. Mm -hmm. um, and then one of my brother closest friends, he kind of like my brother, you know, when you grow up mm -hmm. and people become family. Uh, he kind of like my brother too. Uh, he gave, we, I always been like an entertainer and I told them like I wanted to rap and I used to just rap for them and stuff like that. And one day he just came to me like, Mama, your rap name should be Mama Million. And I'm like, okay, cool, you know, because I was just thinking of Mama. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I was like a shorty, like I was real young. And that just stuck with me from there. I'm like, fuck okay. it, like, Mama Okay, y'all still cool to this day? Yeah. That's good, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so how's he feeling about your success now? Oh, they proud of me. Oh. They super proud of me. I love my brothers. Okay, it was family always supportive of the music dreams or like? Yes. My family's super supportive. I think now it's just more serious. Because mm -hmm. when I was younger, they didn't take me serious for real. They like, what you finna rap about? Like, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. You had to make sure you really wanted it. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you wasn't getting into music, though, what was you getting into? Like hair, makeup? Like, what was you into? Aside from music? Maybe a dance choreographer. Okay. Because I started off dancing. Okay. And then I transitioned into music. music. Okay, when did you know music was your thing, though? Uh, when I got inspired by Michael Jackson. Okay. So I wanted, like, I wanted to be a dancer. I was right, already right. dancing. I've yeah. been dancing since I was two years old, and I started writing music at five. Mm -hmm. But Michael Jackson inspired me to write music right. because I'm like, if I want to be a superstar, mm -hmm. I got to have a whole bag, yeah. you know? Like, I don't want to be no background dancer. I want to be the spotlight. So yeah. that just encouraged me to write music. Okay. All right, so walk us through your first studio session, the first time you went in the studio and laid a song down. Ah, the first time I went in the studio was with my uncle. Uh -huh. He over there. Say hey to him. <laughs> uh, the first time I went in the studio was with my uncle. Um, I had just went viral on Facebook, uh, rapping with my best friend or whatever the case may be. And then we had got called to the studio to do this song or whatever the case may be. That was my first time rapping, and my uncle met, met us there. Uh -huh. And then we left that studio. My uncle had a studio built in his garage, mm -hmm. and we left there. And then I went in there and recorded like 10 songs. 10 songs one, first session? Yes, like one oh, taking wow. them, because I had so much music like just, sitting. just sitting, because that was something I really wanted to do, but I wasn't doing it publicly. I didn't have no studio yeah. or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. That was just stuff that I was just writing. And then from then, like, my uncle been locked in. Locked in, yeah. That's fire. Okay, so 
on the music tip, what made you like? What motivates you to kind of keep going with it? With it, like what pushes you every day to keep doing it? Uh, my family, uh, the people that support me, mm-hmm. and I feel like I just came too far to like give up. And also my team, mm-hmm. my team motivate me and okay. push me to go hard. So you from Chicago? Yes. Okay, so be, just come from because you know, people move there and stuff. Like. Yeah. So being from Chicago, how do you feel about the music scene, especially for the girls right now? Oh, we put it on. Right. I feel like we the hottest out right now. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mel doing her thing. And who else? Who else are you listening to out there? Uh, Fendi. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mello, Fendi. Uh, y'all love Cashmere. Um, other female artists is out there. Sizzy. Mm-hmm. Um, Sizzy coming up with. Oh my God, it's so, so many. So many. That's what I'm saying. But they yeah, hard it's a lot, though. It's a lot, it's a but they hard though. It's a lot. So, what do you think makes you stand out as a female artist from Chicago? So hot right now. How, what stands you out from everybody else? How are you different? Um, really just being in my own lane. Uh, tunnel vision. If you watch previous interviews, um, that's just me. That's my aura. That's my persona. Like that's who I am. Mm-hmm. I stand firm in that. Tunnel vision. Um, just focused on me. I'm not trying to be the head. I don't want to be number one. Mm-hmm. I don't. Put myself superior to nobody nor inferior mm-hmm. uh i'm just me you know yeah. i'm just doing it because this is what i love to do mm-hmm. other people love that i do it and like i probably make other people day when i do it that's all that matters you know yeah, yeah so that's yeah, what i'm for doing sure, it for. For sure. okay so if someone didn't listen to your music what song would you want them to hear first out of songs that's out because i know you got so many unreleased oh my so God. out of what's out if a person never heard of Mama Million, what, was, what would be the first song you play them? For male and female, or just? Male and female, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, song I would want them to listen to right now mm-hmm. would be. Like, what's your vibes? What you want them to hear? <laughs> Why are you so indecisive? Because I'm like, I've got so much music. I don't know. Yeah, out of the I, songs that's out, yeah. Okay, I, say, I would say my recent, probably. Um, Hershey Kiss? Or nah. The that? Maybe Mama Sita. Okay. Because it's just like super up tempo. It's like it make you want to dance and make you feel it. Okay. So when making music, being that you used to dance, when making music, are you making sure you can dance to all your songs or like? Before, no, but now, yeah, now, for yeah. sure. Okay. I always say it like, can y'all twerk? Can y'all dance? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now when I'm making it. Okay, okay, okay. And do you feel like your music is, you try to cater to the girls or the guys? Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so really, my main focus is really the women because I was so, like, leaned over the side to, like, boys were so yeah. attracted. So I, mean, I started Chicago making stuff. Too, the boys yeah. was hot out there, yeah. So I had to make stuff more relatable to the women, too. So really the women now. So, um, so who, I guess, who are some artists you were listening to growing up? Michael Jackson, of course. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, from my town, I mean, from my city, uh, Chief Keef, I grew up listening to her, Lil Durk. Um, I listened to Chris Brown, Beyonce, uh, Drake. Like, I grew up listening to a lot of different artists. I don't have, like, a... Favorite artist. I love music. Yeah, so if you same. make some hot music, yeah, I fuck with it. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so being a female, you know, music industry is super male dominated. Walk us through some like pros and cons you feel like about being a female in the industry right now. Pros and cons. Mm-hmm. Um, like some of the good stuff and some of the bad stuff. I think bad because everybody. You have, I don't, everybody don't have the same mindset as me coming from my perspective. Yeah. So everybody look at it as competition, mm-hmm. which to the labels and everybody else it is. Yeah. But um, I don't really look at it in that way. So I feel like it just create like a lot of negativity in a way too, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like, oh, I don't F with you, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like so much fake mm-hmm. love in yeah. the mix of it. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Industry, and yeah. I feel like the pro about it is that like we shine like we winning like we shining yeah. right now yeah. like and that's good to see because once before it was the yeah. male's time yeah. yeah the girls definitely got it right now so um so being so with that so you of course taking label meetings yes right so like what are you kind of looking for to move forward if you would to do a label like what are you kind of expecting looking forward to looking for 
Uh, really, anything that makes sense. Okay. It just has to make sense. I don't want to like say too much, but anything mm-hmm. that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, how you feel about the whole independent route, though? I feel like that's the best way to go. Also. Mm-hmm. Um, just being having that freedom. Yeah. Owning your stuff, you know, yeah. I feel like that's the best route to go. Definitely, definitely, definitely. If you can, if you can do that for as long as you could, I would say be independent. Okay, so what inspired the um, Hershey Kiss record with Melo? Um, honestly, I had been made the song. Mm-hmm. When I first met Melo, uh, she was like, yeah, so send me a song, blah, blah, blah. But it, around that time, I was focused on, like, building my brand, you mm-hmm. know, putting myself in one pocket. And I wanted to make, like, pretty, but a little savage girl music, you get what I'm saying? And that's what I was focused on. So Hershey Kisses was, like, one of my beginning, beginning songs that I've oh, ever so made. It was, it was really How an old, old song. song. Probably like the beginning of this year old, oh, like okay. that six months old, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, and I had made it because I felt like that was pretty girl. Mm-hmm. Hey, who effing with me? Yeah. Chocolate Hershey, you know, like I feel like it was super pretty. I can hear girls getting ready to that song. I can hear girls making videos too, you know. Mm-hmm. And that really inspired that. And I had sent Melo like three, four songs and that was one of them that she picked. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that was so freaking perfect because like we both chocolate women, right. you get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. And like, was this all purpose? That, like, yeah, <laughs> it was. It was perfect. It was perfect that she picked that. Yeah. So um. So also, I feel like another one that's really moving right now is Mama Sita. What inspired that record? Honestly, I was just in the studio drunk, <laughs> I and I heard like the it. beat. I'm like, dun, 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 dun. it was just at the, ay 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 ay. Hey, yeah, you need to go do that. Go do that. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I just took it from there. Like, I'm Mama Millie, but my, call me Mama Sita, because my name Mama, you know, Mama Sita, yeah, you know. And I was just putting it together, and they like, this shit hard. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so the Hershey Kiss record is also moving. Like, how do you feel about, you know, like, working with more girlies in the industry? You know, I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to it. You feel like you're a girl's girl? It's given that. Yeah, I, yeah. I like, I love it. You know, I love, yeah. you know, I like genuine vibes. I love, like. Like, we got it right now, and I'm so excited for everybody, you know. And I'm waiting my turn in the crowd, giving others their flowers, you know, clapping and plotting and waiting my turn to be on stage, you know. Like, I'm supporting it 100%. For sure. And, I mean, um, you know, as girls, we go through different things as guys. So how do you, how are you balancing, like, your personal life with your music career? <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm balancing it good. I'm not in okay. no relationships. Okay. I'm not, you know... Worried about that stuff. Yeah. I'm just really focused on having fun and making music, you know, achieving my goal because I'm getting older mm-hmm. and I don't have no job, you know. Yeah. Like, this is what I do for a living. Well, yeah. So, ain't no time to waste. This is what I got to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because, you know, you know, I feel like when girls are growing up, it's always a guy that always wants to come into the mix and be in a role. How do you feel about, like, personal relationships? Like, know. public relationships, I mean, like. Oh, no. I don't know. I would never go public again. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a wrap. You gonna be like Lotto? Nobody know your man. Yeah, but they know definitely you got ain't one. nobody gonna know my man. <laughs> you ain't even gonna know what his kneecap look like. <laughs> it's over with. Okay, okay, okay. So going into um, you know, it's fourth quarter. We're ending up the year. Mm. What what else are you gonna do for this year? Hopefully, I'll be able to drop a project by the end of this year. That's the goal. I, yeah, that's the goal. I don't have okay. plans on it. I have enough music for it, but. Okay. Haven't really made plans, you know. I'm just going with the so flow I'm right saying, now. You got all these records. How are you going about what song gets released versus what song you hold? Like, how are you going about that? Timing. Okay. If the timing makes sense, me and my team go over it. You know, it's kind of hard too because it's so much music. Right. That's what I'm saying. So. So, so okay. Going. And then I, I'm in the studio a lot too, so it's mm-hmm. like I might make harder stuff than the stuff that I have so it's mm-hmm. like that throws it off too it's just yeah. super hard like yeah, it's, super it's just hard. hard so when picking a song is it you and your team in there is it you and your team and your friends Are y'all in the studio y'all trying to pick through the songs or like yeah me and my team group effort kind of yeah okay that's cool that's cool that's cool how'd you meet your team well of course your uncle been down but like how'd you meet everybody else or it's uh, all family through my yeah family through my family my family okay. like introduced and that's how that happened okay okay, okay. so um yeah, so definitely a project. You want to drop a project this year. Mm-hmm. Okay, got a title or not? For my you? turn. My turn? Yeah. You already got a title? Yeah, my turn. All if right, I drop yeah. a project right now, it's going to be my turn. Okay, period. That's so going to be the name of it. Before the year ends, right? Yeah. So maybe <laughs> dash, dash, two, three. My turn. 
Okay. Let's see. So we'll see. We'll that, see. We'll see. We're yeah. I gotta put pressure on her. All right. So um, aside from music, do you want to get into acting? Yes. Anything else? That's that's the goal. Branch all, off and all of that. Yeah. Okay. To different revenues and stuff. Do you, you have know. a favorite actor? Honestly, I don't be knowing the actor's name. Okay, a movie. Uh, favorite, favorite movie? movie Twilight, all the Twilights. Okay, so I'm not really like supernatural. Yeah, type? or like thrillers. I don't really like the hood movies and stuff. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't watch it. It's too corny for me. <laughs> I just can't do it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, what else should we be looking forward to this year? Project. Um, how are you feeling? What's some of your goals moving forward? On the, music the project is one of them um, to keep working with different artists upcoming and uh, local and hopefully hopefully go global too. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all, my words out to Hopefully glo- global too. Why would I say it again? <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah. that um, um, in New York, you worked with anybody out here yet? Um, she's not from New York, but me and Asian Doll just linked up. Okay. Uh, last okay. night, and we did some stuff, yeah. Okay, so Asian Doll Worker on the way. Yeah. Any other features on the way? Or, like, still working it out? No, nah, still working it out. Okay, okay. All right, so definitely looking forward to more. Tell the people where to find you. How could they tune in? Uh, you guys can tune in with me on Instagram at M-A-M-A dot M-I-L-L-I-O-N underscore. And yeah. <laughs> Oh, YouTube, Mama Million. Go check my videos out. Hit subscribe, like, you know, drop a comment. <laughs> and that's the Talk of the Town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.